Um, yeah, so I am. In, I have been in IT for over um, 15 years. I lead a team of nine people in data analytics. So where I feel stuck these is um, how do I move from managing maybe one team to a bigger team? That's one, right? Because what I'm realizing is that with this whole COVID situation, having less technical people available, it's very hard to delegate and move on, move on to a new role because you still have to do your current work. Even in my own team, people are leaving left and right. It has been a real challenge. Um, so I'm looking for like, how do you grow while staying? I mean, that that's the option one, right? But the other option is also where you're being approached by so many other um, recruiters. Is it okay to jump the ship, <laughs> you say? So oh. first, first of all, Sam, good to see you. Uh, nice to have you on our call today. So <laughs> good. It, it, it. I'm sorry, is, is this Sime I'm talking to? Yes, yep. yeah. Yeah, yes. that's what I thought. Yeah, for sure. So, Fantastic. Uh, um, so yeah, I think it's a great, uh, so you're dealing with the question of what happens when I'm managing multiple teams and I'm no longer quite as hands-on with the, with, the, with the team I've been working on. I have to now hold a larger vision for people and be able to create that uh, context of support and work through other people to get things done. So you're in a, at a higher level now where you're going to have to, be less hands-on if I understand your situation and more in that leadership role of developing people and making sure that your uh, direct reports are uh, team leads on your various teams are doing their job of supervising the people they work with. So I just, first of all, I want to understand if I understood correctly your situation right now, is that accurate? Yes. Yes. And that is the challenge, right? Because in technology, you need to know the technology and, and there's a big pull or oh, to be hands on at the same time, but then I realized I lose track of the people then, or, yeah, or, yeah. or managing the, the, the connections. So when it's time, so, so you're managing how many teams? I saw there are two teams, nine people. Two teams, and it's a little hard to hear you, Sim. Maybe you can move closer okay. to the phone. Yeah, it's um, two, two teams and nine people in total. Nine okay. in total. And, and how many people are you, are, are you direct, do you have direct reports? Yes. Uh, how many direct reports do you actually have? Um, those are the, the nine people that, that oh, I have. Oh, so all nine, all nine yes. are direct reports. And are they all a team that's working or are they actually managing other people as well? No, no, they are, they are, they are working. Yes. Okay, so you've got a team of nine people you're leading. Yes. Gotcha, well, you got your hands full, but that's a manageable, that's a, that's a manageable process and- uh, Yes. So, um, what can you give us a little sense of what's the biggest challenge? You said it sounds like the challenge was people staying engaged and not wanting to leave, right? Is that what you were saying that you're losing I mean, people? That, I mean, I think my team is engaged, but I think there are a lot of like transition, right? People, where people are going for other opportunities, right? So mm -hmm. it's it has been um, struggle in terms of making sure the, the way they say it, keep the lights on, right? Yeah. So it's like you're putting one fire out and then the next one is ready. Um, and it's harder to focus on the bigger picture when you're constantly in, in managing um, the day-to-day -day work. Mm -hmm. so, so my question for you is, are your people on your team uh, doing what they love doing and do they want to be there? And are, is this an attractive opportunity for them or is this a st just a stepping stone on the way to what they really want? I have not had those conversations. Well, I honest. suggest those would be good conversations to have because your job is to help them see how this is important right now in their life, in their career, and what skills they're working on that are really going to be essential wherever they go so they get engaged where they are and get what they're, what they're there to learn, even if it's there for six months or a year or whatever. Help them see their purpose and how this serves them to really be excellent in the job right now and have those conversations. Fine, yeah, that's that's helpful. I think that that's a good way or the next step for me to have those conversations. Cool, and have Fantastic. fun with it. It's, it. You get to really contribute to people and watch them grow and learn. So <laughs> that's what we yep. like doing, right? Okay, okay. thank you. And, and thank sign, you, sign by doing that, you're going to, they will, be more open and clear with you and you'll get a better sense of if somebody is looking to transition they'll help you with it and the, there will be just more open communication and so yeah that i think it'll just make the whole thing easier for you 